loves welcome back to my channel if you are new please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified first anytime i upload a new video so let's get right into the video in today's video we're going to be talking about everything scrubbing the skin everything how to exfoliate your skin properly well to get good results because honestly some people don't even bother to scrub their skin because they feel like I'm not seeing the effect. I'm not even seeing what scrub is doing. Whether I scrub or I don't scrub, my skin is still glowing. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly scrub your skin to start seeing results. When you know you have a dull skin, that is because you are not exfoliating properly well. So for some people who are rocking their skin and they still feel like everything is all good, that dull skin cyst needs to be repaired with a good body scrub. If you also have a strawberry skin, your skin will just be looking bumpy, bumpy, bumping everywhere. Do you know the way a chicken looks like when you remove the feathers? And if you are not scrubbing your skin, you are only making the things worse. So you can see a dull skin, a strawberry skin, and for people who also want to have a glowing skin, this is another reason why you should scrub your skin to have a glowing skin. There is always a difference in your skin when you scrub. Believe it or not, if you've never scrubbed before, try it after this video and tell me if you really didn't see any changes in your skin. Changes in the sense that firstly, when you scrub your skin, you will just see your skin looking very soft, very smooth. These are the effects you get from scrubbing the skin. So if you have not been scrubbing your skin or you have never seen any reason to scrub your skin, if you want to achieve a smooth skin, a glowing skin, scrubbing the skin can make it happen. It's not as if only scrubbing your skin will just give you all that. What do you even understand by scrubbing your skin? It means you are removing dead skin cells from your skin. Your skin naturally regenerates. And when you regenerate, there are some dead skin cells on the surface of your skin. You can't just see it with your naked eyes. But when you scrub your skin, this scrub goes deep into your skin layers to cleanse it out. That is the function of scrub. And if you always exfoliate your skin, because as long as we live, our skin is regenerating. So you have to use body scrub to remove those dead skin cells that did not leave your skin. There are some that are still there that are not living. So with a good body scrub, you are removing it. And when you remove it, it's as if your skin is clearer. It's just like, let's assume you are traveling in a bus and the windows are open. When you are holding your phone like this, after some time, you are going to check your phone and you, you will see dust all over your phone. But when you look at your skin, you cannot really see that dust on your skin. But the dust is there as well as the way it is on your phone. So that is the way these dead skin cells are. Imagine I'm using a wipe to wipe off the dirt in that your phone. You can see how beautiful your phone screen is going to be looking like. That is the same thing that body scrub does to the skin. It's not as if it's stopping your skin from looking however it wants to look like, but it's looking dull. If your skin is shiny and you're not scrubbing your skin, when you start scrubbing your skin, it will shine more. So this is just the easiest explanation I can give about scrubbing the skin and the importance of scrubbing the skin. So if you want to achieve that glowing radiant skin, always make sure you scrub your skin. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to scrub your skin the right way to get that good result. So the first thing you need in scrubbing your skin, you need an exfoliating glow. But also this is very optional because some scrubs are different. So before we get right to that, when should you scrub in your skincare routine? Is it before your body wash? Is it after your body wash? Is it before cleaning your skin? Is it after cleaning your skin? After you have used the body wash to also clean your skin and add more good ingredients to your skin, that is the time in your skincare routine you should scrub your skin after you have cleaned your skin. And the reason for this is because if you clean your skin first, it's like you are helping the scrub to open your skin for it to work deeper because when there is oil on your skin there is so many impurities on your skin it won't get down to your skin layers but when you have removed the dirt on your skin this crop can go into your skin and rejuvenate it so that is the reason why you have to clean your skin first before you scrub your skin so as i earlier said you need an exfoliating gloves these are exfoliating gloves. only this glove alone you can hear the sound it makes that sound. So ordinarily, I can feel a little harshness on my skin. If I continue to do this for some minutes, my skin might even turn red. So that is where it comes to the different type of scrub for your skin type. So in choosing a body scrub, you have to know your skin type. If not, after using a body scrub, your face will be looking very red and you end up regretting why you scrub your skin to start with. That is because you didn't consider your skin type 
and the body scrub you are getting so we have various type of body scrub we have sugar scrub we have salt scrub and we have this normal scrub let me call it that way that is neither salt nor sugar so for this type of scrub there are also scrubs that when you put it on your skin like this it's going to seem as if there are stones or there are particles inside that is causing abrasion or causing harshness to your skin so that is another type of scrub there are also some scrubs that when you add when you apply it on your skin like this it's just as if you are using your normal sponge on your skin there's no harshness it's not even as harsh as this gloves that i'm putting on on my skin right now there are also some body scrubs like that so now for someone who have a sensitive skin you know that anything you put on your skin if the thing stays two minutes your skin is already having problem don't use that abrasive one because after using it even if you don't leave it on your skin for one minute your skin might turn red so for people who have that type of skin, a sensitive skin, I'm not talking about a dry skin or an oily skin right now, I'm talking about a sensitive skin, skin that is easily sensitive to products. When you apply products on your skin, you easily get reaction from it if there's going to be a reaction on the skincare product. Don't use an abrasive scrub because you can use them and your skin will turn red. So use a scrub that is mild. An example of mild scrub is this. This is also an exfoliating scrub. But this scrub, when you bring out this scrub, this scrub has fine particles in it. This cool spa scrub is one of those scrubs that is very mild on your skin. When you apply it on your hand, it's also as if there is literally two um, particles in it. But mind you, they are not harsh on the skin. They easily melt away. Yeah, it's just like soft because you can even see it is a soft scrub. It easily melts away. But there are also some scrubs that when you apply it on your hand like this, it's as if there are stones. They don't easily melt away so those type of scrub run away from them if you have a sensitive skin and this scrub is not stated if it's neither salt nor sugar scrub and it's very mild it's just like water but it has tiny little particles in them as well i don't know if you can see it but it has literally to sand in it it doesn't easily melt away but it is not harsh on the skin so this is another type of scrub for you who have a very mild skin that is quite sensitive so you use a mild soap to complement your skin if you end up using a very harsh scrub you're not going to be getting a good effect of scrub so that is one thing about scrubbing the skin to get a good result from it so for someone who have a sensitive skin even if you leave this scrub on your skin for five minutes your skin is not going to burn out you're not going to be having a red skin but if you use those type of scrub that has a lot of abrasion in them you will end up having a reddish looking skin so now, who are the people that are going to use those abrasive ones if a sensitive person cannot use it? Those are actually people that don't have a sensitive skin and also have a tough textured skin. So what I mean is, there are some people, when you touch their skin like this, it's, as, it's very thick. When I mean thick, I'm not talking about healthiness right now. I'm just talking about the nature of the skin. It's looking very thick and looking very strong as well. And it is not sensitive. Those are the type of people that can use an abrasive scrub without having any problem in it. And also, abrasive scrub can also turn your face red. So, if you are someone who has a soft textured skin and your face is very soft, I will tell you not to use those type of scrub on your face. If you have a very mild skin and your face is mild as well, then don't use it as well. So, when you know how to choose your scrub according to your skin type, you are going to enjoy scrub. So, for people who are using a mild scrub that I mentioned in this video, you need this. You need an exfoliating gloves because this is what will actually help that to this is just like a sponge for you who have a mild skin to use to apply that scrub on your skin and it is going to work better when you use an exfoliating gloves alongside with those um, mild scrub that i showed you earlier but if you are using an abrasive scrub there's no need for this there's no need for this you can just keep this and use your hand to apply those strong abrasive scrub on your skin and you're going to get good results from it because all this mild scrub when you're using it on your skin some will even be forming on your skin i think they are body wash that you're using to wash your skin but for the abrasive one they don't easily form like that compared to these ones so that is why you need this for mild scrub and you and you need your ordinary hand for scrubs that are not mild so just with this you are going to be getting good results from scrubbing your skin and the places to always tackle when scrubbing your skin is places like your elbow because 
our elbow sometimes gets darker than every other part of our skin naturally there are some people naturally they have a very clear elbow it's not as a result of skincare products or anything why some of us are not as lucky as that our elbow is a bit darker than our skin and for that you need to scrub your skin every time so that you can keep up with the melanin that is produced in that place if not that area might be getting darker and thicker every time so your knee is another place that needs exfoliation like you need to be serious when exfoliating that place so that that part of your skin will be looking very soft if not you will just see some people and um, their elbow and their knees will just be looking very thick even if every other part of your skin is looking very soft their elbow and their knees will just be looking different from the entire skin but when you always scrub your skin the skin texture in your elbow the skin texture in your knee will just blend with your skin so you have to exfoliate your entire body but those area needs enough exfoliation they need enough abrasion in that area so with this your skin is good to go always make sure that your bath globe is always wet like this is always wet then when it's wet then you apply your body scrub on it and you scrub your skin all over it's just as simple as that it's very easy to scrub your skin and another thing i would definitely say about scrubbing the skin is don't scrub more than two times in a week when you over exfoliate your skin you don't have your skin to be looking glowy looking fine and beautiful you will just see small small acne is coming out in your forehead small small acne is coming out in your back small small acne is coming out in your chest when you over exfoliate your skin your skin tends to get dry and start breaking out so you don't want to overdo this exfoliation or scrubbing of a thing just do it once or twice in a week depending on your skin sensitivity if your skin is too sensitive you can just simply rest at once a week but if you have the time and your skin is good to go then you can scrub twice a week depending on what works for you also if you are using too many exfoliating products maybe your soap is an exfoliating soap you have an exfoliating toner you have an exfoliating serum you have an exfoliating body lotion they scrub once a week because as long as exfoliation is done too much it's not good for the skin it's something you do once in a while because the effect it gives to the skin is something that lasts for a long period of time so that's the reason why you don't need to do it every day to get good results just once or twice a week will still will give you the best result that you need for your skin so guys this is just the simplest things to know about scrubbing the skin and also how to scrub your skin and that brings us to the end of the video and i hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified first anytime i upload a new video see you guys in my next video